Hi there, welcome to another edition of Modern Retro Review and as you can probably see from the screen I'm going to be reviewing a driving game in this particular episode. This is GP Cars and well this is the loading screen or title screen for it. It's a disc based game, I'm playing it off my SD to IEC card uh, so I'm going to press fire to load up the title screen but a nice introductory, or it actually says press space there a uh, nice introductory screen with some cars on and a sort of revving engine noise before that showed up and here you go here is the title screen for the game as you can see GP cars at the top it says and otherwise there's no credits as such it's just kind of a game selection screen so this game was released last year 2023 it was launched at the forever 2023 demo scene party and it's developed by LHS who is a demo scene coder and also the music's by Necropolar, another member of that scene, and there are various other people that worked on it as well. It's available free from Commodore Scene Database, CSDB. I'll put a link to the game in the pinned comment on the video. Uh, this was a bit of a labour of love for the developer because, according to some comments I read, he actually started developing this game in 2003. That's when he started writing the code, so really been going on for 20 years. Uh, obviously, not his day job. Um, so. Uh, and this is the end result so we've got uh, a, a basically track selection screen here uh, which is nicely done uh, and at the moment all that's available is to play the first race on the first track and the first race on the second track uh, and you can see that one of them it as it denotes at the bottom there is for one car and one of them is for two cars which basically means in the first one it's a time trial and in the second one it's a race against another car so, very nice presentation from the title screen, we've got some music in the background and uh, nice graphics and everything, so let's get the game started. So here I am at the beginning of the first track and you press fire to start so you can start whenever you're ready. And it's a time trial as it says in the top left corner there and the aim is to complete the course in 50 seconds and it's not as easy as it sounds. So you get a countdown for the start of the level and it's a top down obviously you can see a micro machine style or perhaps more like the Sega arcade game Hot Rod uh, and you've got to drive around the track. I have played this a few times so I'm better at it than I was when I first started. The car doesn't move especially fast uh, and it's quite sort of slow to get around the corners uh, so this is something you have to get used to you get your positioning on the track right and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to go around the course but nice background and stuff you can pick up and I've been forgetting to use them uh, because you, you press fire to accelerate left and right to steer and you push up on the joystick for a little speed boost oh I've hit the wall there and I'm also just going to show you what happens if you hit into one of these basically if you hit any of those obstacles on the side of the road you immediately die and you have to start again so that countdown is not a sample as I understand it, again I've read a little bit about this game, that's actually done with Sid uh, music, or Sid, oh I've crashed into that one now, if I would have done that the first time around I could have saved a bit of time. Let's go again. Uh, yeah so it's actually, the countdown's actually done as Sid, well music I suppose, but but it creates the sound of a, a voice saying 3, 2, 1, go, so that's quite clever. Uh, the background graphics are nicely drawn, obviously there's quite a lot of grey there and quite a lot of brown in certain places. It is the Commodore 64, uh, but uh, overall there's lots of little animations, you can see the animations of the water there. Uh, this is obviously a beach based course, so lots of yellow as well. Let's see if we can get around this course this time without making any mistakes. Obviously I enforced my own mistake last time, and I'm forgetting to use those boosts again. So yeah, when you the car doesn't move very fast. Um, as I think I already mentioned. Uh, so those little pushing up for the little speed boosts just gives you a little bit extra which you do need uh, to complete a lot of the tracks because the time limits are quite tight. But there we go, I used them all at the end. Got myself over the finish line, 47 seconds. I don't think you can do much better than that so you can see that the time limit is pretty tight and it probably took me, I don't know, five or six goes before I even got close to finishing that first course. So once you've finished one course it unlocks other ones, so that, that obviously that one was already there, but now there's also a three car race on this track here, and also, oh, that's it for now, uh, but you can see in the top right hand corner, uh, there must be 25 courses in total because it's saying that I've just completed one out of 25. 
So with that in mind, let's move on to the second one. So in this case, you've got to beat the other car. Um, so the time's not important, but you have to beat the other car, which again, is not necessarily the easiest thing to do because it's a computer controlled car, so it doesn't make any mistakes really. So you can't make any either. It does follow, oh, there we go, that was a mistake. It does follow a very set route, so if you can cut a few corners here and there, you can get past it. Oh, but bumping on the edge of those things is not helping. I'm remembering to use my little nitro boost this time, though. Oh, I didn't want to use it around that corner, though, particularly. So, as you can see, we've got the layout of another course here. Oh, oh that was close. I nearly, oh, no, that's going to screw me up, I think. Although there is some... Oh, I might just do it. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, I think I just did it. Literally on the nose. So a couple of things to note there. Obviously, different course layout. Uh, and also, yeah, I did do it. Um, you can run over the uh, opposition car. So that's a good thing. It means that uh, you don't have to worry about hitting the car, at least. So that's now unlocked um, a course at the end here, which looks to be an off-road type course because it's got um, monster trucks driving it. And I think it's also unlocked. No, that's all it's done. So I, I'm, I'm going to move on to just basically the next available one, which is a three car race. I'm just taking a quick moment to say thanks to all my channel members, whose names you can see on screen now in my supporters hall of fame. If you're enjoying this video and would like to support my channel, then why not become a member yourself? For a monthly fee starting from just 99 pence, you can get access to special membership perks such as your name in the Supporters Hall of Fame on every video, early access to most of my content, member only polls and even choosing games for me to play in future videos. If you're interested then please click on the join button below this video for more information. So exactly the same idea here, this is a very grey looking course, I assume I'm the blue one, yeah because I'm the only one who didn't move there. So this, this is where you get a bit more of the sort of hot rod style look because they've got sort of branching tracks or you can go different ways around the track so there's an inside and an outside bit and I'm guessing at some point uh, you're better off switching from inside to outside. Oh, that was close. But I managed to avoid it. Oh, I didn't avoid that though. Uh, so I've no idea where I am in the race because I don't know where the other car's gone. So hopefully it's going to be close I think. But I am going to make it. So I did find this when I was playing it before. Actually the first two courses are harder than some of the later ones. So I managed to do that one first time. And there you go. Very short races. They're like a minute or so each for the most part. Uh, that's now unlocked the second race on the second track. Uh, and still got the monster truck one. So I'll do the second race on the second track which is different cars, so you get different cars each time. You can't, there's no choices about which cars you can use, you just get the ones you're given. And uh, there's also nothing like you get in games like Hot Rod, where you can power up the car after a race by, you know, boosting the speed or the handling or things like that. So it's a little bit lacking in those kind of features, uh, but it's, it's a pretty nice example of one of these top-down racing games. Probably the biggest criticism is that the cars are quite slow. So this is a two-lap race now. So this will be interesting. Oh yeah, and this is where I've just taken this turn in. But you can you can take a shortcut. Didn't do it particularly well, but it has put me ahead. And also you've got these search lights, which I think slow the car down when you go over them. Oops, and I've crashed into that thing, and that's game over. Or race over. So I shall give it another go. Three, two, one. So, as you'll have already seen, there is there is literally no margin for error in this game. The slightest little mistake and you're punished. Uh, but that's fair enough, I mean, that's the kind of games you got in uh, olden times. Oh, I've done it again! <laughs> uh, let's try again. I don't know why I'm even crashing into that, I wasn't even a challenge. Uh, to get past it. I just swerved a bit too much. The handling does take a bit of getting used to because it's, it, it is quite slow to react. I should get straight through there now. I mean that's such an obvious shortcut and it's not even that difficult. There we go. I've got past that one that time at least. So yeah obviously the, the further through the game you get 
the, the more challenges it throws up at you. Which again is a nice thing. It gives you more to play for. Uh, the other criticism I would have of it is that you don't um, you don't you're not able to save. So although it's a disc based um, image, it's a D64 image, um, you can't save the game. Uh, so every time you reload it, unless I'm doing something wrong, uh, you have to play all the courses from the start, which is a bit of a shame because it is the sort of thing that you'd want to come back to with it having 25 courses. But so that was lap one, so I did all right there. I'm, I'm ahead still. Let's see if I can go through this shortcut again and not mess it up. Ooh. So every year, uh, I haven't mentioned anything about the sound effects. Every course has got a tune. I haven't worked out if they're different tunes or not because they're quite quiet in game uh, compared to the music on the title screen. And you also get some uh, brake screeches as you go around corners. And that's about it for the sound effects, I think, apart from when you start the race. Ooh, did not really mean to engage that boost there, but didn't do me any harm. This bit definitely slows you down. So that's supposed to be like mud or something, I'm not sure. Oh, get off that corner. But I'm doing all right here. I'm quite far ahead of the uh, opposition car, so unless I mess it up right at the end, I should win this race. Yep. Oh, get around that corner. There we go. So yeah, initially quite difficult, but once you get used to the handling and the fact that the car doesn't actually move that fast, it does get easier, and it's just about positioning yourself in the right place on the road. So that's over unlocked the second race on the first course, and uh, I'm going to play this monster truck one, and then I think I'll call it at that point, because I've shown quite a lot of the game now. So this is a 1v1... Um, off-road race with two different cars. I've got like a monster truck and he's got like a decent car it looks like. Uh, and again we've got branching tracks so you can take some shortcuts. This one seems to be snow based. And you definitely slow down when you hit those snow drifts. I've got no idea where I'm going here and which way is the best route but I am ahead again and I haven't used a boost yet. Ooh, that was a mistake. Is this one lap here? Oh blimey. Straight into a big snow drift. Oh, I don't know if I wanted to go this way. Oh, that's worked out all right. Oh, probably messed it up right at the end there. But oh no, I've managed to do it. Got over the finish line again. So there we go. That's another race completed. So plenty of variety, and it does unlock more races with every race that you complete. Let's just see what that's unlocked for me. See if there's anything interesting. Oh, there we go. It's unlocked that course, just some kind of forest course. And so let's just do that one and, and then round it up. So this is another time trial, two lap time trial on a very muddy forest course. Never played this one before. So let's see what we get. I assume there's a limit to the time trial as well. I've got to do it in a certain amount of time. I didn't notice, but there'd be no point because otherwise you're just doing it against yourself really. So there'd be no point not having a limit on it. I'm assuming if I hit those things on the side, oh, that's uh, narrow. But I have definitely got used to the handling because I'm finding it a lot easier now. Ooh, I say that and then crash into a wall. Oh, that's a stupid place to deploy. You do sometimes hit the uh, the boost in a stupid place because it's pushing upwards on the joystick and it's very easy to do that when you're pushing left and right. Oops. I mean, it's going all right, but I've got no idea what the limit was. I didn't notice, so it could, uh, could end well or it could end badly. Getting around there is actually quite satisfying. Ooh, around that corner. I mean, I think I'm doing all right. Oh, I've hit the nitro again. It does look like there's some other kind of power-ups to collect because there's some little... When you hit the nitro, a little, like, fire extinguisher type thing, for want of a better expression, lights up towards the top next to where it says the laps. And there's two other things there as well. So it's possible you get other power-ups later on in the game that I haven't seen yet. Let's just see what that unlocked. I said I was going to leave it at that point. That's another race there and I don't want to do another time trial. I think I'll leave it at that point. I think you've seen enough. I've played six different courses and completed them. So yeah, as I say, it does get a little bit 
take a little bit of time to get used to the controls but once you do it's got quite a precise control and it's not that hard really I think once you get into it um, yeah nice little game basically it's free uh, you know free download uh, lots of effort gone into it clearly and there's not really much to complain about as I said there's a couple of niggles some power-ups uh, between races to increase your handling or improve your handling or things like that might be nice but probably you don't really need them and a, a selection being able to select which cars you use would be quite nice as well once you've unlocked them or something like that so there's a couple of ways it could be improved but overall a nice little package as I say completely free so download it if you're interested from the link in the pinned comment that'll do it for this one if you've got any thoughts about the game then let me know in the video comments and I will be back with another modern retro review in the near future plenty of other retro gaming content in the meantime thanks very much for watching this one until the next time see ya